Hello everybody, Mr. Sixman here, and welcome back to Marble World. So I've just built this brand new marble run here, and today we're going to give it a test and see how good it is. In other words, we're going to make some utterly ridiculous traffic jams, and then we're going to do the biggest race we've ever done on the channel. Let's get on with it. Right now, we're actually standing on an overpass here over the motorway, and uh, there's a big dumper truck on it, right? Which is actually tipping stuff onto the road below. But this dumper truck here is actually where you spawn in the marbles. And if we go up into the top, you can see that I'm just putting marbles in there, look. And they're all tipping out onto the road and they begin their journey around the track. So let's put some more in and we'll just sort of follow them round and, uh, and see what happens here. But already we've got some broken signs, look, above the road there. We've got a couple of fast cars racing down here. And all of these cars are, of course, obstacles the marbles can sort of crash into. They have to navigate around them if they can. There's a couple of lorries back here, and they're already on the other side of the road. Essentially, this is actually a big loop, a bit like an oval race, right? But, of course, it's just got tons of obstacles on. Look how fast they're going down here, guys. But as soon as they get to that sign which says slow on it, they're literally all going to slow down. But the thing is, on the left-hand side, they can go a speed of 7. On the right, speed of 5. So even though that's slower though, up ahead we've got a bit of an issue because this car has fallen off the back of that truck there and uh, it's allowed the, uh, the marbles to go up the flatbed look and they're jumping over, they're being boosted up here. And as soon as they get to that go fast sign here, they're boosted forwards really fast. And this section allows for lots of really good overtaking, as you can see here. So when we get over to the end of this, now this is actually sort of halfway around at this point, right? There's a tunnel here. There's been a bit of a, a rock fall or a landslide kind of thing. And oh no, we've got a marble stuck there, look. But obviously, yeah, none of them can get through there. The barriers are up with their, their lights on, so nobody's allowed through the tunnel. We've got a truck here which is trying to, you know, collect up the rocks and free up the road again. We've got another one over here just pulling out onto the road. And of course, the marbles are going to hit that and be diverted across to the left-hand side. And that, again, might mix up some of the positions in racing. Now let's travel down the other side of this race. And there's a big straight here with no obstacles in this part. So it's just really fast, really straight. But it doesn't last long until we get another obstruction. And just like over there with a the big jump, we've got another slow section as well. But this time, a van has crashed into a lamppost. Look over there. I've got no idea how that pickup managed to get all those massive apples in the back of it. But somehow it did anyway. But it's tipped over after hitting that lamppost. And all of the apples have gone across the road, causing more obstacles to get past. So uh, that's what's happening here. But of course, here there's another go fast sign again boosting them up to speed and they're going to quickly hit some more traffic here and yes as you might have seen in the thumbnail for this video there is actually a banana with wheels on it anyway now we've got back to the start of the track again but what's happened here is the road has collapsed up above on this overpass here i guess the uh the dumper truck may have just weighed it because it's massive right look how heavy that thing must be it's weighed it down a bit too much and uh, <laughs> some of it's broken, fallen down onto the road below. And of course, it's caused a bit of a traffic jam over here. Look, everybody's queuing up, waiting. The barriers are up again. The marbles have to turn around and go back round. It's just this infinity loop at the moment where nobody can escape. <laughs> nobody can escape the chaos of this marble run. Anyway, guys, if you know me by now, you'll know that I love to spawn in as many marbles as I can and just see if we can break the track. So uh, <laughs> let's do that right now. I'm just going to keep spawning them in here we've got 2,000 marbles at the moment and, whoa look over there at the slow section that is just <laughs> they're already coming back that's quick it's actually quite a fast lap isn't it uh, okay let's put some more in there we've got 3,000 marbles now going across here oh okay okay now oh, whoa look at this I've never done this before oh <laughs> this is so fun look how many are just coming up oh my goodness me this is actually amazing. Four and a half thousand now. Check this out. This marble is trying to have a go in the sports car. They're actually jumping over the back of these cars as well, which is amazing. Let's oh, look how fast they're going into the back of the lorries. I didn't realize that was going to happen, guys. That's quite dangerous, actually. Look, this one's come off the track. Uh, I mean, as you can see, I do actually have some barriers up right now. So, you know, they're all the way around the track. Oh, no, we've got some stuck on the van here. The jump's working really well. Look, that's just constantly going that jump. How awesome is that? Guys, I really didn't know they were going to go this fast. I cannot believe the speed they're actually picking up here. <laughs> Ridiculous, isn't it? Let's have a look over here at the apple section then. 
Uh, it's working though, isn't it? I mean, it, yeah, that's working really well, actually. As you can see here, they just reach a uh, an even speed. They all go exactly the same speed um, in this section. There's a big booster pad here, which is locked on to a certain speed. So they can't go any faster than that. As soon as they go past, they're going to hit another boost. Oh no, we've got a traffic jam. Okay, we... <laughs> The banana's made a traffic jam over here. A big one. Yeah, that's not so good, guys. That, that is not so good. But it's not stopping the ones going... <gasps> okay, this is absolute madness. Let's put some more in. <laughs> All right, so I've just put the game into slow motion here. But we've got over 8,500 marbles at this point. And uh, I'm still spawning them in, as you can see over there. I cannot believe that this thing is actually still working. Look at that. Look how many we've got just coming down this strip of road right now. I cannot believe they are still moving. It's ridiculous. Oh, no, we've broken it, guys. I mean, that looks incredible, doesn't it? I've just... <laughs> I think that guys let me know in the comments down below if you've seen a lot of my videos before Do you reckon this is the biggest traffic jam we've ever made? I mean, I think it might be I, th I really think it might be all right then so now we've done all that Let's go and do some proper racing on this track This is the biggest race we've done on the channel so far and it's gonna be 10 laps. All right, let's get this thing started Today we have 135 marbles named after my own viewers. If anyone else out there would like a marble named after you, let me know in that comment section down below. Alright then, the race is going to begin in 3, 2, 1. And off they go, out of that dumper truck, straight away onto the road. Hitting that quite hard actually, some of you getting stuck there because of the big impact. Uh, but at the moment, Skirapol looks to be in first position going onto that go fast sign really quickly around the corner. Oh no, Skirapol's been knocked backwards. It's Cleo Gaming as well. Knocked backwards there. Into the Apple section goes Sam. Um, All Night is close behind in second place and never a gamer in third at the moment. Let's join Sam's marble here up in first. And you're actually going to avoid the traffic here going past all the way to the end. Around the corner onto the second lap. Well done, Sam. Really good performance so far. Straight away, nearly onto the ramp there. You're going to get that turbo boost. Uh, but David's parents have overtaken... Let's join David's parents then, who's just gone around the corner and uh, into the apples section for the uh, second time here. Lap number two at the moment. Sam taking the fastest lap at the moment. But of course, that can change. There's so many opportunities to get the fastest lap in a 10 lap race. Mohammed, though, is up into second right now. So well done to you with that lava marble there. Lots of people catching up to Mohammed at the moment, though. Down in 20th, we've got Lunar Object Cosmos, though, uh, just behind Dylan L. And, oh, it, everything's changing so quickly. Dante has now taken the fastest lap. And, uh, yeah, well done to Dante. Twisted Vines up ahead, just going through the Apple section, now in first position. Miss Bella in second. And Mars Jenkar was in third, but now it's Zachary, actually. Um, so can Twisted Vines maintain that position? No, because Dabney C has already overtaken. Sam's still here up at the front, though. Paul is now in the mix. Frozen Spider Soup. Zachary. David's parents there just behind. Let's join All Nighters down in 19th at the moment. So loads of marbles back here. Actually, loads overtaking as well. Oh, no. Um, it's Cleo Gaming might just overtake down here. Look, in the corner of the screen, all hitting that slow section now. If you don't hit an apple, you're probably going to get through a little bit quicker. But uh, it won't affect you too much either way. Is Aurora there zooming past on the right-hand side with the pink marble. Dabney C is still in first position, way up in front with a big lead. And on lap five, almost beginning lap six, Peyton John there stuck on the side of the road, unfortunately. Let's have a look down in 20th. We've got J-Bro Place here. Mr. Stixman is up there somewhere. How did I get up there? <laughs> I started in last. <laughs> I literally started in last place. We're just going to have a look from the sidelines now as everyone is on their lap number six out of ten. Uh, this is a really quick session. Oh no, someone's gone off the track over there. Let's hope that doesn't happen to too many people. We can see Xander going around at the back. I'm not sure what position you're in at the moment. Lots of marbles are now beginning their seventh lap as, uh, as we head around here. We've only got three more laps after this. So uh, we're almost at the end now, way over halfway. Marak's nephew going past. And also, who's that there? Tinker as well, uh, just joining up behind. Paul's having a really hard time trying to catch up to first position there. Zachary in third, just behind as well. Not, not too far behind, actually, but Dabney is well up in front. And there's going to have to be a bit of a miracle here for anybody to catch up with Dabney C. 
frozen spider soup down in fourth. So pretty good. You're in contention for a podium finish, potentially. Uh, we've got Jaybro plays in fifth as well. Here comes Dabney C, just beginning the ninth lap now, avoiding all of the traffic. Look how quickly you've gone down there, straight on to the flatbed. Oh no, Mrak C has decided to try and fix the car, which has fallen off the truck here. So although you're being very kind, I'm not sure if you're going to win the race now. Oh no, Mrak, too kind, trying to fix that van over there. And we've got uh, Holy Mango and Brandon, Charlize. Uh, in the background just heading up here lap 9 is still in process but lap 10 is just about to begin right now there we go the final lap has started guys let's join Daphne C now can you stay up in front or is somebody going to overtake you and get first position uh Paul must be somewhere let's just see where Paul is right now just behind not far actually but probably too far back to hit that first place now Peyton John right behind but I think you might be a whole lap behind actually at this point Dabney C in the slow section hitting a couple of apples maybe losing a bit of time there um oh let's see what happens now we're almost at the end of the race guys just one corner to go around and there we go the race has been won by Dabney C Paul in second and J Bro plays in third. Guys, thank you so much to everybody for participating in this race today. Don't forget, if anyone else out there would like me to name a marble for you in a future race, let me know in the comments section down below. But now what we're going to do as always is just wait for the whole thing to finish and then I'm going to show you all of the results at the end. All right then, we've got the results in now. So Daphne C in first, of course, finishing in five minutes and 36 seconds. Paul in second and J Bro plays in third. Now I'm just going to scroll down here so everybody can see their final positions. Mongoose down in 85th has actually taken the fastest lap so congratulations to you for that. All right then guys, that just about does it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button if you did enjoy it. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.